Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Tuesday. Today is a disaster. It's a disaster Tuesday. Uh, but before we start the vlog, I wanna show you guys something super cute, super amazing. Ellie, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Just Ellie. Yeah, and Daisy. And Daisy. I wanna tell you guys the problem that we have with, with our dogs. Hey, get out of there. Ellie, 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 I wanted to show them you. Come here, come here. Okay, so Ellie, sit, sit. If you want a treat, sit. I wanted to show you guys really quickly how adorable Ellie looks when we first do her hair. It's hard to show you when I have to hold her. So I do her hair and the front pieces are still really short. I think they break because of the elastics. And because of that, whenever she rolls around, these front pieces fall out. But this is how cute she looks. Wait, Ellie, look. <laughs> but this is how cute she looks when she gets her hair first done in the morning, first brushed. It's the cutest she looks for the whole rest of the day. The rest of the day, she's a ragamuffin. She looks like a little ragamuffin. But anyway, before we start today's vlog, I just want to oh, get out of my treat bucket. Before we start today's video, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about uh, the experiences that we're having with our dogs now. I want to do an update video um, on Ellie since she's my very first Yorkie and it's a totally different experience than any other dogs. Our most drastic experiences with dog ownership are Daisy because she's deaf and Ellie because she's a terrier. The biggest issue that I wanted to tell you guys now that we're having is that nobody likes Ellie. <laughs> None of the dogs like Ellie. Daisy does like Ellie, like she tolerates Ellie. I don't think she likes her. Do you think she likes her? Like she used to play with her when she was a baby and she accepted her crazy behavior when she was a baby. So I do think that she tolerates her and she used to like her and used to play with her, but it's like our dogs were like, okay, I'll accept this behavior from you when you're a baby. But now that she's kind of grown up, she's almost six months old, she's five and a half months old. And she still acts like a, a small baby. And as you guys can see, <laughs> Ruby is the best with her. Ruby tolerates her to the point where I often have to take the puppy away and say, like, enough is enough. Don't terrorize my dogs. <laughs> None of the dogs like her. Molly detests her. Ruby tolerates her with the best of, like, with the biggest heart ever. She tolerates her. Daisy runs and hides from her and just doesn't come near her. But none of our dogs like her. They just don't like her. She doesn't fit in. But I love her. Sam loves her. Sophie loves her. Like, she fits us. She's such an affectionate, loving dog. But not affectionate in the way like my chihuahuas were. She's so different. She literally has a mind of her own. And she's affectionate when she wants to be affectionate. But she is not affectionate if she doesn't want to be. There are times when she has so much energy and she... Like, if I take her to bed and she hasn't burned off all of her energy, then she's not laying with me. She, like, boo. she goes to bed when she wants to go to bed. She gets picked up when she wants to get picked up. Like, you can't... There's no control over this girl. Like, if she's distracted, that's the other big thing. If she's distracted, you cannot get her attention. Like, if she's chasing the chickens, what happens? She's, she's too distracted. She's so distracted. Like, you can call her name five million times. You have to actually go over and pick her up because she gets so focused, which is, I guess, why she's, they're bred to chase rats. Like, can you pass me the brush? they're focused. She's a very focused dog. And a lot of times she's really focused on food, <laughs> which is the last thing I wanted to tell you. See, look at, look at her hair. Look, wait, wait, wait. It's so easy. Look to at her hair. hair. See, can you guys see it? It's all hanging out now. Look, it's so easy to brush my dog's hair. So, so that's the last thing. She is still really driven by food and I give her measured feedings each day. But the other day, she woke up in the morning and she came downstairs while we were still asleep. She managed to get up to the food, into the food, and she fed herself breakfast. So then she came back upstairs. See, look at she does that. And then before you know it, she's a mess. Like two seconds, she looks cute each day. <laughs> But the hair goes in her eyes, which is the problem. I don't want her to not be able to see. Anyways, so my point is that she fed herself breakfast, came back upstairs, and laid with Ruby on Ruby's bed. 
So when I got up, I thought she had just gone downstairs. I thought she had just gotten up and went into bed with Ruby. I didn't realize that she had fed herself breakfast. So I came downstairs and I fed her breakfast. So a few minutes later, I realized that she wasn't eating her breakfast. And I'm like, what the heck? Why isn't she eating her breakfast? And then I picked her up and realized she had fed herself her own breakfast. Her belly was so big and so bloated. So we are still battling that, but way to a much less degree. We usually make sure that she can't get into the food. She's never tried to like wake up in the night, come downstairs and help herself to food before. So that's an issue. We do have like a few other small little issues that we are dealing, like that we're trying to work through. She hates her bath. Um, her hair, because she's a Yorkie, her, their hair gets greasy. I see so many pictures of Yorkies with greasy hair. And it's always around their face, which is the problem. She tolerates a bath everywhere but her face. She doesn't like her face wet. I'm paranoid to give her a bath around her face. I'm paranoid to wet her face because I don't want water to get in her ears because I know in the past she's got water in her ears and it's led to yeast in her ears. So yeah, that is a whole work in progress. But for the rest of it, she has been amazing. I think those are our only issues. She, she listens so well when she wants to listen, but when she doesn't want to listen, she doesn't listen just equally as well try and give her a bath or do her hair she would kill me yeah sophie lets me do all the bad stuff because she thinks that ellie won't go to her and it's true she, she doesn't yeah she holds a grudge you got short sophie thinks i got short just wait okay back to back oh i'm still way still taller, taller. I, okay so is gabby coming it's not the fastest gabby's gonna come is gabby coming yeah, yeah she so uh, today we are in a chicken hell Chicken hell. Chicken hell, you guys. The rain has kind of, it rained again though, right? It rained yeah. last night? Yeah, it rained this morning. And rained all morning. It's, been, it's supposed to rain till the end of tomorrow. This rainy weather is supposed to end tomorrow. Um, since you guys went away, like since my mom went away for the day, Ellie's been attached to me. Yeah, she attached herself to Sophie, which is a, which is a problem. She attached herself to dad. She, lo she loves everybody. It's because she sat with me all day. I know. So she's a traitor. But anyways, back to chicken hell. So essentially we, we, we hatched three groups of eggs. One, we got six chickens in. Another, we got 14, I think. And then another, we got... How many, how many silkies do we have? Another we have, in, and then we have like 13 silkies. I think we have 13 silkies. So 14, 13, and six. How much is that? I don't know. It's like 32 or 33. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of baby chicks. Or so we have a lot of chicks. So we, so we breed them. We bought the eggs and so we could get specific breeds and then we're going to sell them. So we've just started selling them. Today was the day that we were supposed to like drop off a bunch of them at people's houses. And all those people backed out they're not like backing out backing out but they can't do today they can't do the time that we set up so some of them want chicks next week some of them want chicks tomorrow it's all up in the air which is fine except the big problem is is that way back before we hatched these chicks we were, our plan was always to sell them but before we hatched these chicks to sell sam ordered me very specific breeds because i want for our chickens this year i want very specific breeds i want breeds that lay specific eggs so we ordered them from tractor supply which is also which is actually called pv mart in canada so we ordered them and they're ready we're supposed to be ready tomorrow Tomorrow, but they're ready today. He just got a message saying that they're ready. So we can't leave them. They don't have any food or water. We have to go and pick them up. So we're gonna go pick them up. We have a lot of chickens. It is chicken hell. I swear to God, Sylvie and I are doing chickens for at least three hours a day. Like we're going through them. We're cleaning out their things. We're uh, watering them. We're like moving them around. Like it, there's just so much going on with chickens right now then I can't believe we're adding another six chicks to our group but these are the ones that we're gonna keep so I'm excited are you excited yeah I hear a lot of noises from far away oh we got two boxes oh my good thing we got here they're kind of like glad we came fast <laughs> why they said they, they got there this morning I'm like well I didn't get the email until like now yeah well, and they're probably cold and hungry i'm gonna look at them yeah i'm gonna look at them too we'll show you guys them when we get home we specifically got chickens that lay 
chocolate, blue, green. Oh my goodness. Eggs, let's see. Oh, uh -huh. that is, that one lays it. Are they really tiny? That one lays the chocolate eggs. They're really tiny? Yeah, let me see. Oh my gosh, it's exciting. Even though I have no idea what we're gonna do with these chickens. <laughs> okay, so this one that's my favorite is a starlight green egger. I'm gonna post a picture of what kind of eggs they lay. It's like a really dark, dark green, almost a hunter <laughs> green egg. Oh my. And then the other one over there, oh, oh my gosh, they're deafening. The other one over there that Sophie loves the best is an olive agar. So it lays like an olive green color. So this a dark green, green, like a hunter green and an olive green. Oh, okay. you're huge. So get the two that look the same. Ellie's like, oh, I just love you chickens. <laughs> God, why did we get the noisy one? This one right here is a Ellie. sapphire olive agar. So <laughs> um, <laughs> don't kiss it. So this one will also lay green eggs, just a different color. And then this cutie is a prairie bluebell agar. So we got four Easter eggers and two Morans, basically. You might have to so, put it in writing. You guys. But then we're gonna go down to the barn. I'm gonna run over, oh my gosh. We have dandelions. I, yeah, this just happened. Like overnight. No, this just happened this morning. This oh, morning. Oh, this wow, okay, so basically, Sophie's going down to the barn. I'm gonna go get a bucket. I'm gonna pick these. Do you guys know why I'm picking them? Only one good reason, because I'm a, a mama, a chicken loving mama, and they love dandelions. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get a little box. Oh, you're just like ripping up the whole thing? Yeah, they like the leaves. I'm gonna go get a little bucket, and then we'll do it. Over there. Oh! <laughs> yellow I hands. Have, what is it? Better than yellow snow. Dandelion hands. Okay, honestly, I have questions about this dog. <laughs> <laughs> we came down and we all avoided the water. Ellie, straight through the water. She also has a couple of burrs on her now, which are driving her crazy. You see them now. She's eating grass. Yeah, she looks she cute. Looks like a rat. But she looks like a rat. Dirty Come on, dirty girl. That's how she gets cold. So this week, while it's been kind of iffy in the weather, I might cut this grass actually. It's been kind of iffy on the weather. We've just been enjoying the barn and enjoying our horses. I hear some stuff. I hear somebody not happy. by the tires, but look at her belly. What am I stepping on? I yeah, I'm gonna clean this. So okay, we've been cleaning, we've been feeding the horses inside. Even inside has water. I don't know. I don't know what, to, oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> She's like, thank God you came. I'm so dirty and I need lunch. Honey, come on. Did you guys see her running to Sophie? And you see how, how tiny she looks? Do you guys see how tiny she looks? She looked so big when she was furry. A miracle has happened. Even Gabby's horse is dirty. Even your horse is dirty. My horse is dirty? I'm so I spent so much time yesterday grooming my horse. Like It only looked like minutes on the video and I didn't even show it really on the video. But I swear to God, hours. We're coming, I'm gonna clean up this arena. Get it all ready. Man, it is insane. This weather, like, it's just bad. It's just bad spring. Did I ever tell you guys? I think I did. I hate spring. So I wanted to tell you guys that we we're supposed to be bringing Sophie's new horse, the horse she's gonna use for this summer, home with us. We're supposed to bring Sophie's horse home this week. We're supposed to bring yeah, I, I put a blanket. Well, I wouldn't put a blanket no, on. No, she needs a blanket. Yeah, you can eat so anyways, you know, we're supposed to bring it. I don't know if I want to introduce a horse to our herd when everything's a mud pit. Like, it's just going to be crazy. Like, Honey. we could stall the horse, take turns, put some out, put some in just till it dries up. Like, all we need is like a couple of good days of dry weather and it will dry up. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. I She's a mess. I don't know, man. He only rolled on one side, yeah, so. lucky you. Gabby groomed her horse yesterday too. Gabby, you gotta do Gracie. But when you do Gracie, I wanna come watch. All right, so today I'm gonna show them how to take 
the horse, listen to the horse's pulse. Sophie said, come here, I see a spot. Big spot. A big spot yeah. of dirt? Right there. Oh my gosh. It didn't well, come off. It does come I, off. I brushed that. It didn't come off. Yeah, she's wet. She's dirty. Is she shedding? Barely. Bones. Oh. Okay, so you're going to put your phone on and only count the heartbeats for 15 seconds. So you're gonna put it right in here. Right. In, right in here. Nope, right here. Right in, stick it right inside his. All right, tell me when you can hear it. Our horses are falling apart. He's dead, there's no heartbeat. <laughs> Let me try. Okay, so the, the. I have a glove. It's echoey. Did you hear the heartbeat? Yes. Okay, so you have to count it for 15 seconds. Count how many. So get your phone out. Thirteen. All right. So now, then, oops. Then you times thirteen times four. Okay. So you guys remember Sylvie bought these jeans. She was so excited about them. And Gabby and I are like, don't buy them. Don't buy them. They're gonna rip even more. <laughs> well, there's one entire leg that is now exposed. I've honestly never enjoyed our horses more than I have this last couple of weeks. Like, <laughs> she's like, right back at you, Laura. <laughs> she's like. Bull, that's a lie. It's the truth, Gracie. Anyway, I came in to help here. Move over. Wow, look at her. She doesn't look too, uh, she actually doesn't look too hairy, but I, I wanted to come when she did she Gracie is. because I'm so in love with this tool. I can't, like, I love it. Like, it is so satisfying. Like, look at that. Tell me, if you're a horse lover, if that is satisfying. And this horse has been brushed a lot and she doesn't even look hairy. Like, look at her. She looks almost smooth. All right, I'm putting the camera down so I can enjoy this. Whole lot of Gracie on the ground. Whole lot. All right, Hoot, this one is for you. We are saying goodbye to the gorgeous long mane. How, to, how long do you want to put it, Gabby? Mm, all right. So do a little bit shorter than that because it's a bit wet. Go along her neckline. You mean a little bit longer than that? Yeah, a little bit longer. Mom, your horse is so jealous. Is she out there eating? Yeah, I'll show you guys. Put the minis out here for just a few minutes. I'm gonna get Sam to rip this out. I want him to rip Will it out. I not understand that you have to shove your mouth. Should, and honey, she can't even chew all this. Should stuff. I get her to rip this out though? No. So we want to like separate the horses. Like there's so many things we want to do. This property is just so limited. We want to be able to let like the minis have grass. We want to be able to take the minis off of grass sooner than we take the big horses off ob for obvious reasons. And it's handy having like a little tiny field out here that yes, we can just throw them in to there. eat for five minutes. All right. She looks good. She looks so good. Love this color. All right. Yes, it has to be even. Do you want me to hold her head? How short are you cutting it? Show her. Well, problem is she's standing with her head up like this, but then when she puts her head down, it's gonna be uneven. So you want me to hold her head down? I just hold her. Gracie, you're gonna look gorgeous, trust me. Say goodbye to our gorgeous pony. It's only hard for you. It's only hard for me. It's hard for Hoot too. Hoot? Hoot owl holler. She is, oh, you're going up. Yeah, well. She is a subscriber and she's a viewer Molly, and leave it. she loves Gracie's hair just as much as me. It'll grow back. I know, it grows back fast. Just ask Chino. Yeah, Chino's hair has already grown back a bit. Am I supposed to be going down? You did a really good job on Chino's hair. Yeah, that was just luck. Okay, no one make fun of it. Nobody make fun of it. Cutting hair is a hard thing. That's why pulling is easier. But it's like it some takes people so much longer. Yeah, and some people are not into pulling, and some people are into pulling. And these jagged edges that pulling you get are supposed to make it thinner. Thinner, yeah. And hey, you should do that to my hair, but it'd be pain. <laughs> I would. No. <laughs> it needs to be thinner, but it's too painful. How do you know if we don't try? <laughs> you brushing my hair is painful. Yeah, that's good hair. What do you think? I say go shorter. You say go a little bit shorter? Because. Molly's like, I'm watching you, Gabby. I got your back. 
She's a good dog. She's got your back. She's looking at my shadow. <laughs> okay, you know what? All right, let's see. Hang on, I gotta even it out a bit more. Because I started to go down. Gracie has perfect hair. I hope the baby has perfect hair too. Don't don't judge her. It's not her it's fault. It's not her fault. See, her we should have gotten thing. shorter. Well, do you want to go a little bit shorter? I want to go up to here. I hated her with short hair. It made her nose her look big. Wow, that's rude. All right, here. Oh, it looks really choppy. Can you do it? No, I I not. Give up. no, no, no. It's not your fault. You do it. You're All right. So I guess that's where it's gonna stay. Here, like a bowl. Cut. I mean, it has to go shorter. It has to go shorter. That is. I know, it's quite thick, actually. All right, take her outside and let her have some grass. Okay, come on, Grace. We should have went on an angle, but we didn't. It'll grow back. Keep telling yourself, it will grow back. It's cute. I like it. Should I take honey off now? Yeah, you can take honey off now. What? Yeah, you can take honey off now. Yeah, and when uh, horses are on grass, they can eat so fast. But Gracie feels my recumbent. Look at how like it, Gabby. No. I definitely think we have to go a little shorter. Willow stir. All right, who am I kidding? I, I only like long manes. I hate short manes. But when you're a show horse, and Gracie's going to be a show horse, and my dog is a mud dog. <laughs> She's like, it's been a hard day. No! Get out of the horse hair! <laughs> what? There's a lot of hair. We are in the car getting some much needed practice driving. Gabby almost crashed us. No, I didn't. I'm joking. She didn't crash us. They're doing construction in this town, so we're learning how to um, drive through construction, right? Yay, so you gotta, you know, listen to the guy instead of the lights instead. There wasn't lights there. I know, but if there was lights, you listen to the guy or the police officer instead. And because she's driving, we're gonna hit the Tim Hortons drive through so I can get a coffee. And Sylvie so wants to head to the park, so I'm gonna go for a drive to the park. We're gonna use a soccer ball as a basketball. And <laughs> we're gonna use a soccer ball as a basketball. Because actually Sophie wanted the basketball, but we never got one yeah. yet. So. All right, we're at the park. Sophie's going on the swings. I'm staying here because look at all the rain we got. The whole park is like waterlogged. What's that? You're not going to either? I don't have the shoes. You don't have the shoes? So, yeah, it's all. I wanted to go to the porta potty. There's a porta potty down there somewhere. But I'm not going to walk through that. I brought, I brought Crocs. I'm gonna be, my feet are gonna get wet because it's all waterlogged. This is what happens when you get like a week's worth of rain. Look at the uh, water level, it's pretty high. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way